Travel or tracking with the crawler excavator can be carried out using the two rocker pedals in the middle of the cab. To move forward with the idlers in front, press the pedals down with your toes and to move backwards, press the rear part of the pedals down with your heels. If you feel that it is more convenient, you can also use the hand lever system instead. To move forward, move the levers forward and to move backwards, move the levers backwards. You can choose between two speeds, low or high speed. The speeds are selected using a toggle switch on the right hand console. Low speed is the dots and high speed the hair. You can always change speed when traveling. It is unnecessary to stop. And there's one other feature too. When out in the dirt with the high speed engaged, the system will kick down automatically if it gets too heavy. As soon as the resistance starts decreasing, the excavator will gear back to high speed again. When traveling, the front idlers should be at the front. Behind the front idlers is the large suspension package, which will take the shock in the event of running into any obstacles. If the sprocket wheels are at the front, the suspension will tighten together and work less efficiently. It is not out of the question to have the sprocket wheels at the front, but if the opportunity arises, then you should turn the undercarriage so that the front idlers are in the forward direction. When turning slightly in one direction, you should only use one of the pedals. To turn to the left, press the right hand pedal and vice versa for the other direction. The track shoes can destroy the surface. Therefore, it is advisable to lift the front end of the undercarriage up, move one crawler forward and one crawler backward, and at the same time, swing the superstructure at the same speed as the undercarriage turns. This could require a little practice, but it will save the surface a great deal. The track tensioning will require some attention. If it is neglected, you will wear out the chains prematurely. This maintenance is very important and easy to carry out, and it will save you a lot of expense. Lift up one of the track frames and measure the distance from on top of the central track shoe to the bottom side of the undercarriage frame. To see the dimensions and details, refer to the operator manual. If the track is too long, adjust it to the correct distance with the help of the grease gun. Refer to the operator manual for how this should be done.